Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm super, super excited about today's recipe because it is an amazing one, honestly. I know I always say this about my recipes, guys, but trust me, this particular one, you will most definitely love it. After you've tried this, I promise you, you will never, ever buy short bought conditioner again. This will give your hair so much volume, a lot of moisture and essentially just increase your hair thickness help with hair growth and all of that good stuff so i will definitely suggest that you keep on watching today's video and you watch till the end so that you can see all of the steps on how to make this and also instructions on how you can use it so to begin with we are going to need some rice so i'm using um, white rice but it's okay to use whatever rice that, that you have available rice helps to increase hair volume it adds shine to to the hair it also strengthens your hair follicles it repairs cuticle damage it prevents dandruff and also has anti-inflammatory um, properties on the scalp so it's very very important like i always say guys your scalp is so important because that's where your hair grows out from and if you have an unhealthy scalp your hair is going to break and also it's not going to grow essentially so i added four tablespoons of white rice in this jar now i'm adding some hot water to this it's just to make the process just a little bit quicker for myself so add the water stir it a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and close the jar and just allow it to infuse for about six to twelve hours Now, 12 hours later, this is what it looks like. So it has sort of infused quite nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour some of the water in this little bowl here. And then we're gonna go ahead and blend the rest. So I will be using a, a hand blender to blend the rice that is left in the jar with a little bit of water. So what I'm trying to get here is some rice milk. Now, if you can actually get pure rice milk directly from the store please go ahead and get that if you don't want to make this process but this is how you can make good rice milk and it's super amazing for hair as well so after blending obviously i'm not looking for a really kind of smooth texture just like you saw there the rice was it's not really smooth so um it's just for me to just get the milk out essentially so you're now going to use a uh, recap and we're going to go ahead and strain it so um get the pulp the rice pulp out and you can keep it to maybe make a rice mask um later on if you would like So next we're going to go in here guys with some corn starch. So this is your actual corn starch that you use to cook your meals with. So you're just going to take one tablespoon of that and add to this and essentially we're just going to stir it until the corn starch has literally all um, combined with the, um, with the liquid or the milk that we made earlier. Corn starch also helps to add volume and thickness to thin and fine hair. It also helps to reduce frizz on your hair, it promotes hair growth and it also helps to absorb excess oil and sweat that you may perhaps have on your hair so it's quite useful in that regard. So I added one tablespoon first and then I realised that I needed just a little bit more so I went with another half of tablespoon. Um, so all together for this I use one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch but all of the ingredients and also um, measurements will be in the description box below if you perhaps want to go back and have a look at it. So I then put the moisture, uh, sorry the mixture in this little uh, pan and I'm just going to put it on the stove, allow it to boil for just a little bit. Make sure that you're there stirring in between just like a notice as the mixture is getting hot 
it's starting to form lumps so you want to be there and stir it until you get like a really nice kind of creamy um, texture so I'm going to show you what that turns like in just a little bit So this is it here you can see that it is definitely thickening in texture and that's basically what we want um, this process doesn't take long at all I think it was about two minutes to get to this kind of texture essentially once your um, your frying pan gets hot Okay guys, so when you get this kind of texture, you want to turn off your stove and just take that off and just allow it to cool down um, before we move on to the next step. So I'm just transferring it here into this little bowl um, in which I'm going to allow it to cool down because the pot was still just a little bit hot and it was going to slow the process. But you can also use it when it's still a bit warm. Um, it doesn't really matter much. I'll show you guys what to do with this. In just a little bit so this is what it looks like um, after it sat around for just a little bit I think it was about maybe 10 to 15 minutes so it hasn't completely cooled down but it's still okay to go ahead and use it and I really love this texture you can use this like this on its own if you would like but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, of avocado now avocado is also great for your hair guys really great moisturizer and also it helps you kind of you know seal your cuticles and just help with just your general hair um, hair growth or hair health in general now don't don't forget that uh, eating this in your diet also has some great great benefit perhaps even more than actually just applying it topically so i'll always suggest that you you um have a balanced diet as much as possible so eat things like avocado high protein diets and those are really great when it comes to like growing healthy hair or stronger hair so i added half an avocado now i'm going in here with some olive oil but feel free to use any other oil of your choice it could be rapeseed oil um even coconut oil would be fine for today's recipe avocado oil so whatever the oil that you have even if it's just a diy oil that you made and it's sitting around and you haven't used please go ahead and use that so i think i added about three tablespoons of olive oil now i'm going to go ahead and blend the whole mixture again so we'll be blending the avocado um so that it's properly smooth and combined with the um conditioner that we just made earlier Now after I blended it for a little bit, I noticed that it was a little bit thicker than what I actually wanted it to be like, so I added some water. Um, you can also add aloe vera juice if you've got it available. Um, it will again just add more moisture to your hair. Um, but water is absolutely fine. So you want to add it gradually until you get the desired texture that you want. Just like you, you can see me here, I'm just checking to see if it's um, as thick as I would like it and it was it was a bit too thick so I added some more water again so you want to uh, again mix it until it's nice and combined and that's pretty much it it's really simple yet this conditioner is so amazing you know when you buy short bulk conditioner and it's really thick on your hair this is the kind of feeling that this one gives you and it's super super moisturizing as well now the way that you would use this guys it will be as you would use any other deep conditioning treatment perhaps once every week or once every other week this has minimal protein in it um, but I would still suggest that you do a patch test just to make sure that your hair is okay with it before you use it throughout and this will help you a lot when it comes to retaining moisture 
and also giving your hair strength and preventing breakage so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and if it did please go ahead and thumbs up the video leave a comment i will try my best to reply as quickly as i possibly can and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next one bye